Hello, Andrew Bell, Able Sim here. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of finish to finish relationships with lead and lag in Microsoft Project. I'm going to start by opening up a new blank project and I'm going to change the tasks to automatically scheduled. Now, today is actually the 19th of April, but because of the way uh, Microsoft Projects is going to try and move one of these tasks, I'm actually going to go to File Information and set the start date for the project to be last week. So that's the 12th of April. I'm going to insert two tasks, Task A and Task B. And they've gone in on the project start date. Um, I'm going to make them five days so that we can see them a little bit better. And I'm going to link the tasks. I'll change the link uh, in a minute to uh, finish to finish. Um, but I'm going to move these tasks um, back to today's date, uh, which is the 19th of April. Uh, and I shall need that um, in a minute to, to show what's happening. I'm now going to copy these two tasks uh, so I can add uh, lead time on that one and lag time on this one. So in this situation, a um, bit confusing because the Gantt bar arrow is pointing from right to left, which can be really confusing for people. Um, but this indicates that task A and B must finish at the same time. If I hover my cursor over the arrow, it says it's a finish to finish relationship and there's no lag. Now, if I double click this arrow, uh, I can actually put in two days of lead time. Lead is two days of negative lag. And that means that the second task has got to finish two days before the first task. So that's pushed it back before the project start date. Um, and if I hadn't changed the start date to the 12th of April, we wouldn't have seen that change. On this third one, I'm going to put in two days of lag time, which means the two tasks finish at the same time, but the second task finishes two days after the first task. Uh, 